Welcome, welcome all to year three. This uh, Haas CNC Racing Autosim playthrough. And uh, what a year three it's going to be. We've upgraded to the new Autosim 6.2 version, which is out now. So you can check that out in the link in the description below. Um, check out Autosim. I, keep t I tell you on our NR2003 broadcast, I tell you guys to do it. Uh, these, I tell... Check out Autosim. It's worth your time. It's worth the download, and you're gonna have a good time. Um, a quick, a quick uh, unfortunate thing that happened is after last season, I forgot to hit the save button, so our cars and whatnot aren't where they were. We don't have the stats that we had, but that's not gonna be an issue because we're gonna have a great season this season, year three. Um, year three of most likely five, or at least until we hopefully win a championship, which I'm hoping only takes five years in this game, because, oh boy, if it doesn't, we're going to be in for a lot. So, we're going to go ahead and just get this video underway right here on the Johto Network. Joe Twansky here with you, um, for this video. Johto. Johto. Um, kind of doing some different rebranding with all the, um... With all the uh, different, you know, NR broadcasts to make sure it's more seamless between that and then our other channels, like our Facebook and whatnot. But that's enough about that. Let's get right into this video. So we're going to run the race. And here are the results from Daytona. Only one of our cars made the race, so that's not a good sign. It was rigged, so Brad Keselowski misses the race. <laughs> that is not good. Then Brad Keselowski follows it up with a fourth place finish at Vegas, or California. I think it's California. So you know what? Good start to the year for Brad. Let's go ahead. Let's go to edit team. Existing team. This 70 car. So this is the car I really want to invest in. I did the same thing last year where we, we really invested a lot of money into the 70 team, and I think we're going to do it again. Um, right now we could do, we can upgrade arrow, so I think that's what we're going to go with here. Get that up to a 77, run another race, and then of course we didn't. And then teammates get in a fight. Oh my gosh. As you can see, I'm listening to the radio right now. Go Tigers. But, uh... We got 36th and 40th. Brian Vickers leads the most laps, but Jeff Gordon wins here at Las Vegas. That's a new feature, too, this whole this screen being a little bit different. Hit continue. Run race 4, 23rd and 38th. So, again, we're not getting a lot of money from these finish. David Reagan leads the most laps. Not good, not good. Go. Let's see. We got thirty-one thousand dollars for this Kozlowski car. Gonna upgrade the chassis. Go back. Make sure we got sponsorship. Okay. Yep, we do. Microsoft PowerPoint on Scott Riggs's car, because you know, PowerPoint. Oh, uh, let's run another race. Scott Riggs gets top ten in that PowerPoint machine. Brad Kozlowski finishes twenty-third. So tough day for Kozlowski, but it. Again, we want to be finishing 25th to 15th most of the time, and then the top 10 sprinkled in here. They're going to help boost us with money, so good finish for Riggs. We're on another race. Then we get 25th and 39th. As you can see, Reed Sorensen is now in the 20 car. JJ Yaley's in the 5. But Brad Kislowski involved in a crash. That's not going to help. He has not been having a very good season this year. Um, Let's see... 95,000 to upgrade the driver. So I don't think we're not gonna. I think we'll save that. We'll, we'll save up to get a Brad, upgrade Brad's driver rating. Get seventh place finish here at Texas. So good finish. Joey Logano leads the most laps, but Denny Hamlin wins. He's followed by Dario Franchitti somehow, Dave Blaine, and Dave Blaney, and then Clint Boyer and Carl Edwards. So good runs for all those guys. We got a good run in our uh, yellow transportation number 70 car. 
let's go ahead and let's hit run race again. 23rd and 30th at Talladega, that is definitely not what we wanted. Um, let's see, so 23rd, Kozlowski gets the 23rd place finish, so uh, he's in that 25, top 25 range, and then Riggs finishes 30th, so. Kozlowski with two top 10s this year, it's pretty good, with the top 5 in there too. Uh, let's edit team, we're still not at that $95,000 that we need. Go ahead and run another race. 11th and 26th, let's see, Kozlowski gets 11th. 26th goes to Riggs. See Patrick Carpanier still in, in cup right there. Paul Menard driving the 45 for Petty. Hit continue. Alright, as we continue on. Alright, we can upgrade the driver. I'm gonna do that. 81. This is new driver rating, so putting him into the 80s is definitely going to help with the performance. Next thing is definitely going to be upgrading the engine aero pit crew. So, we had a lot of engine troubles last year, and there you see Riggs blows a tire, finishes 36, 32nd, I'm assuming. Yeah, and then Kozlowski's going to get that 26th place finish, so. Denny Hamlin wins. Reagan Smith led the most laps at Charlotte in the Coke 600. Run another race here at Richmond. Case Kane wins. Clint Boyer there, 28th. Let's see, who finishes 28th. 28th is Scott Riggs, so Kozlowski finishes 38th. Let's see what happened with him. Engine trouble, so again, we need to upgrade our engines. Oh boy. 13th and 41st. Alright, Kozlowski with 13th place finish. 41st goes to Riggs at the second Charlotte race. So that was another thing, there were a couple schedule changes. I noticed um, the the fall Charlotte race moved to the spring. Maybe that's what it was, but so the schedule looks weird. Actually, we can look right at the schedule, can't we? Um, so yeah, Charlotte, eight, race 10 at Charlotte, race 12 at Charlotte. So that, that was the 600. Clint Boyer wins the Coke 600. Denny Hamlin wins the Bank of America 500. Um, and then that switched, maybe it was, it switched with Atlanta. Yeah, I think it switched with Atlanta. Because now Atlanta's fourth to last. That was where Charlotte was, kind of. Or Darling. No, it switched with Darlington. That's who it switched with. So, Darlington now in the chase. Don't know how that's going to bode for us. If that's going to bode well or not. See, Carl Edwards has two wins on the year, too. Jeff Gordon with two wins. So those guys, Case Kane with two wins. Those three look like they're probably the favorites. If we go to the standings. Case Kane, yep. Case Kane first in points. He's got a 10-point lead over Kurt Busch, Jeff Gordon, and Carl Edwards all hanging really strong. And then it's a little ways back to Harvick, and then even more farther back to Kenseth Logano, Elliot Sadler, Ryan Newman, Clint Boyer, Jimmy Johnson, and Kyle Busch. So that's where we are in points right now. Let's see where our guys are, though. Kozlowski currently 26th. He missed a race, so he's definitely the highest who has missed a race. We want him to finish in the top 25 to 20 in points. And then Riggs is 31st, so that's not where we want that car to be in points. We want, again, top 25, top 30-ish. That car is a little worse than the Kozlowski car, so we want maybe not the same expectations, but want him to at least be close. So let's go over. Let's go to the 66 team. Let's see. Yeah, so the overall is a 74. The driver rating is a 70. He's got an 88 chassis. Decent aero pit crew. So Pretty much the way we're setting this up is this 66 car is kind of just to get some money. And then we put all the money into the 70 car. That's partially because Riggs is a little bit older. And Kozlowski's closer to his prime. As well as just, um, I like Brad Kozlowski, so I'm going to put more money in his car. And then plus it gives us a likelier rate to hopefully retain him as our driver. Hit run race. David Reagan wins at Dover. Case Kane led the most laps, finishes 8th. So something went wrong for that 9 team. Get 22nd and 29th. So again, around where we want. We got the 66 car needs to finish top 30. Kozlowski top 25-ish. So, you know, as long as you're... If you're getting finishes better than your points position, that's a good day. That's a good day for the Kozlowski team there. Finishing 22nd. Riggs finishing 29th at Dover. Let's go on to Pocono. Kurt Busch wins at Pocono. Case Kane again leads the most laps. Kozlowski and Riggs involved in a crash, and since they finished 32nd and 33rd, I'm assuming that was with each other? 
So that is definitely not what we want to see. I'm not even going to go through that. I don't even want to look at that race anymore. But let's look here. We can upgrade our pit crew by three. We can upgrade our engine by five. I think that's going to be the move. We can upgrade the arrow, though, too. Now we'll upgrade the engine because it's the lowest outside the pit crew. So engine up to the 78. Hopefully we don't start blowing engines all of a sudden. 27th, 31st at Michigan. So Kozlowski only with 27th place finish at his home track. Riggs with the 31st. Um, that's definitely not what we want to see. But we did beat out one of the one of the Hendrick cars, so you know. That's cool. Team rankings is still not working with this save. We go to statistics. Real quick, our Hall of Champions. So Harvick's won the first two titles in this playthrough after after the save malfunction. So whoever won it the first time, you can count that guy as the winner. Uh, Daytona 500 winners. Casey Kane's now won back-to-back -back Daytona 500s. Um, after, again, the malfunction. Truex won the first one in Season 1. If we go to Active Driver Info, um, this is where we should probably start looking at some of these guys. So let's find Scott Riggs and Brad Keselowski. So Riggs has five top fives, eight top tens. I'm assuming most of those were with us. Kozlowski, his whole career has been with us at this point, so two top fives and four top tens um, after, again, missing season two because of a save malfunction. Run another race, 37th and 40th. Let's see what happened. Kozlowski was involved in a crash. Riggs was involved in a crash. So, gosh darn it, guys. We really need them. We, we, no more crashing. No more crashing. Run another race, 21st and 25th. So both inside that top 25. Hopefully, Kozlowski was 21st. He was. Riggs, 25th. Okay, day for those guys. 12th and 17th at Chicagoland. So Chicagoland, a really good track for us. Kozlowski finishes 12th. Riggs in 17th. That should give us a little bit of chunk of change. Kozlowski beating Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy the Jam. Man, not doing so hot there. Alright, so we upgraded... Our engine the last time. We're going to upgrade our arrow this time. It's up to an 81. The car overall is getting there too. So it's 79. You also see Kozlowski's driver rating going up. 78 and a half. Or did we get it up to an 80? I forget. I think we had it up to an 80. So his rating's actually gone down. So the ratings and stuff, they can go up or down on the season depending on how well the driver does. Um, and obviously Kozlowski's has gone down a bit there. Run another race. Kozlowski finishes third at New Hampshire awesome race this was actually in actual 2010 this is where he got his first career pole was at the uh fall or at the august new hampshire or at the Ju Ju bleh, july i'm pretty sure this is this. i'm pretty sure he got it at the july new hampshire race so top five for brad kozlowski um and then riggs is gonna finish 27th you see it down here tough break for scott riggs for another race 14th and 15th both inside that top 15 at the second pocono race Kozlowski beating Riggs again. So Scott Riggs not doing what well, not doing hot per se, but uh You know, he's doing okay. Kozlowski's still 25th in points, but he's beating Dale Jr., so yeah, there you go. Um and then Riggs is currently 31st, so not what we want from that 66 machine. But we haven't put any money into it this year. Uh, we've been putting all the money into the 70 car, which we're gonna continue to do. Um upgrading the engine to get that to an 83 so all of our stats except pit crew are to over 80 so we'll definitely be upgrading the pit crew next here run another race 12th and 34th at the brickyard Briggs was involved in a crash so he's going to finish 34th and Brad Kozlowski with 12th place finish so starting to rattle off these top 15 top 10 here with the 70 car so that's a good sign for us as we're getting closer to the end of the season Run another race here at Watkins again. Again, Kozlowski is solid finish. Finishes fourth here at the Glen. Um, and then Riggs finishing 30th. So that's a tough break for that machine. Let's see. I don't think he was involved. He wasn't involved in a wreck. Um, as you go through top 10, Montoya wins. So that's not a surprise. Jeff Gordon, Casey Kane, Kyle Busch behind Kozlowski. So that's your top five. Um, then Harvick, Kurt Busch, Truex, Logano, and Sam Hornish Jr. Um... So, you know, we're doing good. We're getting we're getting there. We're going to keep putting the money into the 70 car, though, because uh, that's the car that's doing the best. 
So to upgrade our pit crew, we need 60,000. So we gonna have to one, run one more race. I don't have those memorized. So Michigan, we struggled in the first race. Here you see uh, David Rudiman in his 44 Chevy wins. Um, but then Kislowski is going to finish 22nd and Riggs is going to finish 29th. So tough break for both those guys. Uh, last week's winner, Juan Pablo Montoya, finishes 30th. So rough day for him. Reed Sorensen is in the 20 car again. Robbie Gordon's in the 84. Oh boy. We missed, see, when we lost that save, we missed a lot of the silly season stuff too. So, um, that was tough, but upgrade the pit crew. That got all the way up to a 77. I thought it only upgraded it by three, but I mean, 72 plus three plus two, 75, or is five. So that gets us up to the 77. So our car overall is now at 82. So we're really, we're really rocking there. We'll upgrade the pit crew hopefully one more time before the season's over. All right, another race, 11th and 42nd. I'm very hesitant to see who finished. Keselowski involved in a crash finishes 42nd. Riggs is going to finish 11th. Casey Kane wins at Bristol, though. My favorite track. Ain't that right, Bristol? I got Bristol, my doggo, sitting right next to me, you know. Um... So let's go. 11th place finish for Scott Riggs, one of his best of the season. Run another race, 26th and 30th. So now at Fontana. So these big tracks, these big uh, two-mile ovals, Fontana and Michigan, did not go very well for us. 26th and 30th. Uh, Riggs 26th and Kislowski after last week finishing like 42nd, I think it was. Uh, 30th place finish at Fontana. Go to edit team. At 42,000. Can't really upgrade anything except the chassis. You know what? Upgrade the chassis twice. Now it's at a 96. Nice. Um, run one more race. This was Richmond, so this should be the last race before the chase. Kurt Busch wins it. Montoya, Regan Smith, Jamie McMurray, and Casey Kane, your top five. Let's see. Scott Riggs is 14th. And Keselowski finishes 29th, so Riggs' driver rating must have went up something fierce. Um, cause, oh boy. Let's look at the standings real quick. I don't, did they not reset yet? So they haven't reset yet. I wonder if it's going back to the old full season points format. Uh, run one more race. Yeah, I think it is. So we reverted back to the traditional format, playoff format, or championship format. Without playoff type chase. So Scott Riggs 11th, Kozlowski 35th. He was involved in another crash, so um, not good for our young driver or younger driver um, here to end the season at least. So we'll save up to upgrade his pit crew to get it up into the 80s. For another race, Kozlowski finishes 10th, Riggs 39th at Dover. So good finish for the Kozlowski team. I think that's going to give them. Um, we're not going to look at 2009. So 2010. This is what our chart looks like so far. We're blowing through this video right now. But, um, Kozlowski's the orange, Riggs is the blue. Most of the season, that 70 car has been better. You know, missed the Daytona 500, so that was a tough break there. But then, rebounding to get that fourth place finish. Best finish, a third. Um, and he's been better than his teammate most of the races, which is what we want to see. Of course, um, that's not a surprise. We've put a lot more money into that car. Five top tens, three top fives for Kozlowski. Only the one top ten for Riggs. Uh, Kozlowski's got his average finish up to 22nd. Um, I believe originally in the 2009 season it was like 25, 26. So the average finish has gone up, so that's good. Um, if we look at 2009, which was one where I just simmed through all the races, just to show you, uh, both of those drivers had 28th. So improvement on last season for sure for both of them. Go to team overview. So Riggs' driver rating has actually gone up. It was a 70. Now it's a 71. Um, but for not putting any money into that car, he's doing pretty dang good. Run another race. Kozlowski with another top 10 here at Talladega. Casey Kane wins the race. So it looks like Casey Kane is on a march to win this championship. If we look at the standings, he's right there behind Kurt Busch. Him and Kurt Busch have been swapping the points lead, it seems like. Uh... To combine, they've won 10 races, but Kurt's had more top 5s and more top 10s, so that's definitely what the difference is there. It's almost 100 points that Kurt's got on Casey, so 
be interesting to see down the stretch. If we check in where Kozlowski and um, Riggs are, Kozlowski's 25th, so not want him to be a little bit higher in points, but it's solid considering he missed a race, so that's over 100 points that he missed out on. Um, and then Riggs is 28th with all the races completed, so, you know, doing our best. For another race, Riggs gets his first top five on the year. Kozlowski involved in an incident. Let's see what that incident's for. Uh, he was involved in a crash, so Riggs continuing to at least make a case to keep that 66 team as a full-time team next season. Uh, that's been one of the things we've been considering is taking that team down. We'll upgrade here on the Kozlowski team, and then we'll go over to the Riggs team and upgrade the chassis just so he doesn't think we're um, flaking out on him. Run another race. Kozlowski with another top 10, finishing 6th. Uh, Regan Smith wins at Darlington. Where have you seen that before? Um, so he's going to might hop us in the points here. And then uh, Riggs with the 29th place finish. Devin Ambrose retired due to an engine failure. James Busher in a crash. Paul Menard, Greg Biffle, Travis Quapel. Um, tough breaks there for those guys. Run another race. Kozlowski with another top 10. So he's Really rattling off these top 10s here at the end of the year. Riggs is going to finish 15th. He's going to finish higher than the likes of Brian Vickers, Carl Edwards, Kyle Busch, Jimmy Johnson at Martinsville. So uh, Logano, who was up inside the top 10 in points. Let's look at the standings one more time uh, before the end of the year. So again, this battle between Kurt Busch and Casey Kane, it's looking like it's going to be Kurt Busch's championship to lose. 100 points on Casey. He's got four more top fives, three more top 10s. Uh, Casey's going to have to turn it on these last three to four races that we got left here. Kozlowski's still 25th in points, but he's grown that lead over uh, 26th place to about 100 or so points. But then the next few guys, you look all the way up to 22nd, those guys are all within pretty easy range. Ryan Newman and Reed Sorensen are even pretty close there too. So getting up into the top 20 with a bunch of more solid races and those guys having troubles is definitely a possibility here for that 70 team through the rest of the season and then finishing like that uh finishing 40th is definitely going to ruin all chances of that Kyle Busch wins at Atlanta though Scott Speed in second Kurt Busch Regan Smith and David Rudman so Regan's definitely going to hop us in points there Casey Kane trying to close in the gap but he kind of just can't doesn't seem like he's able to get it done here so Kozlowski falls all the way back to 26th uh Junior is 25th Regan Dave Blaney. So, I mean, they're still they're still within striking distance, but our cars are back-to-back -back in points right now, but I don't think Riggs will be able to get there to the Kozlowski machine. For another race, Jamie McMurray wins. See, Regan Smith, another top 10, so he's rattle them, rattling them off here. Casey Kane finishes 12th. Let's try to see where did Kurt Busch finish. Oh, Kurt Busch finished 8th. Um, so I think that's probably going to lock it down for Kurt here. Kozlowski 15th, and then Riggs is going to get 30th. Chase Montgomery rounding out your field in that 0-1 car. Let's hit continue. Run a race. Jeff Gordon wins. Casey Kane, then Kurt Busch. So yeah, it's going to be too little too late for that 9 car uh, to win a championship here. But then Riggs has engine trouble. Kislowski blows a tire. So um, Phoenix was not too kind to us. As we got one race left here. Um, I think we're going to save our money before making any upgrades. So we got $90,000. So that's a lot of money here uh, going into next season. We'll run the race. Kurt Busch wins the race. So that's going to give him the championship. Wins at Homestead. We finished 36th and 37th. What a terrible way to end the season. So, yep, Kurt Busch, you are 2010 champion. 23 top fives, 33 top tens. Um, really great numbers. Another guy that had 33 top tens was Jeff Gordon, but didn't have anywhere close to the same amount of top fives. Um, we're down here. Kozlowski, 26th in points. Um, and then Riggs. Where did Riggs fall to? Did I miss him? Oh, 28th. So Riggs, 28th. Kozlowski, 26th. So, wanted better seasons out of those cars, but um, sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. Year in review. The Giants defeat the Broncos in the Super Bowl. Cavs beat the Jazz in the F NBA Finals. The Boston White Sox defeated the Arizona Diamondbacks in the, the MLB Finals. The Penguins beat the Coyotes 
Coyotes in the NHL Finals, and then Big Show defeated The Rock in the main event of WrestleMania 24 in a Hell in a Cell match. Alex Ray, your time person of the year. As we go on to Silly Season. So, oh, we're losing stats on that 66 car. Engine down five, arrow down, or chassis down four, nothing on arrow, two on the pit crew, one down on the overall rating. The Kozlowski car, though, five down on arrow, six down on the chassis, but the chassis is easy to replace. Um, pit crew down two, overall rating still an 82. Uh, so arrow will definitely be what we put money into on the Kozlowski car to start the year. To continue, Kozlowski wants a two-year contract extension. We'll accept that. So, free agent drivers, J.J. Yaley, Clint Boyer, Chase Montgomery, Sam Horace Jr., Reed Sorensen, Marcus Ambrose, Devin Ambrose, Ken Schrader, Mike Waltrip, Joe Nemechek, considering retirement. Um, we don't need to hire a driver. We don't need sponsors. So, we're going to hit continue here. See your silly season. So, Sterling Marlin retires. Um, zero titles, zero wins. That's not correct. Um, so, this, this file must not have had anything in for the... Um, For the champ for the previous stats so that's unfortunate with this roster um kurt bush goes over to drive the 20 car for joe gibbs racing replacing reed Sorensen. um boyer replaces him at penske david rudiman to the eight car jamie mcmurray to the 88 so that's a shocking move um dave blaney to the 44 scott speed to the 77 jj illy to the 26 paul menard to the 31 Devin Ambrose to the 22, Chase Montgomery to the 15, Boston Reed to the 5, Max Pappas to the 07, and Ambrose to the 84. So does that mean Dale Jr. is a free agent? Um, let's look at the free agent list. Sort by rating. Okay, so no, he's not. David Rubin, though, is a free agent. Dave Blaney's also a free agent. Do we bring in so Father of Ryan, Dave? So I wonder what car what car is Deal Jr. in then? Hold on. Statistics, active driver info. Some of these teams without drivers as of right now. Or at least it says they're without drivers. So Dale Jr. currently without a ride in the Cup Series. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, Autosim. Flipping my world upside down. So I guess I guess Dale Jr. is without a ride. Cause, but he wasn't on the list, so I wonder if... Um, I know he didn't retire. Bill Elliott retired twice. <laughs> uh, Joe Nemechek, Ken Schrader also retired twice. Ken Schrader retired three times. He did it for Dale. Um, but yeah, so going into the 2011 season, let's go to the 70 car. We're going to upgrade our, what did we say, arrow to get that up to an 80 overall. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade it again. So Keselowski's 82 driver rating, 82 and a half, engine 83, chassis 90, arrow 84, crew 80. And overall for that 70 car is going to be 84 going into next season. And then for the 66, uh, Riggs is a 71, 66 engine, 88 chassis, 68 pit crew, 70 aero. So maybe putting a little bit of money into the 66 car this season. Maybe not so much into upgrading the driver. Um, part of me wants to see what we can do if we can get a different driver in the 66 car. But I doubt we can get a better driver than Scott Riggs. With all that being said... Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single view you give us here on JTN, either our AutoSim videos or my AutoSim videos here. Um, watching our NR broadcast Tuesday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Dash Series, and Saturday nights, 10.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the United States Online Racing League's Red Bull Cup Series. They're at Watkins Glen this week for that league. And then the Dash Series is at Indianapolis. So two exciting races for sure coming up this week. You can also check out the fast cup series race reviews those come out on thursdays 9 p.m eastern standard time they premiere usually 
Um, they did this last week due to the cup race being Thursday night. And with all of that being said, thank you so much for watching. For everyone here, um, well, for me, pretty much it's me. Uh, for all the, for me, um, here with JTN, I'm Joe Tawanski. We'll see you guys next time in the next video. Uh, we'll have the next Auto Sim video again, Mondays, every Monday. I'm probably uploading around 5, but could be earlier. You never know, because they're just uploads. So, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Um, comment what you think is going to happen next. I appreciate all the interactions. Love to see it. You'll love to see it. Check out some of the different links. Johto Designs um, is down there. Autosim. Check out the Autosim. As always, download it. Um, they got merch up, too. Um, and a Patreon to support the development of this game that way. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next video, whatever that video may be for you. Peace.